I'm the former research associate of CSIC, so I would like to discuss about our projects, about develop a dynamic geo twin at the building and city levels. We use the West Cambridge site as an example. So this project is led by uh, my supervisor, I just Palikat, and involved in several research associates and PhD students. So. Uh, our objective is to develop a dynamic digital twin for FM and also the West Cambridge site for, the uh, for demonstrate its impact on facility management and wider product productivity and well-being. We have many industry partners such as Bentley Topcom. So what is the dynamic digital twin? The dynamic digital twin they try to create a, a digital world of the physical world and try to connect it with several data resources such as building management systems, uh, sensor data and try to create several functions to monitoring the as is conditions and also predict the futures. Let's show our demonstrator in West Cambridge. So we cooperate with several teams such as the, real, uh, the estate management team in the University of Cambridge and also our facility management team in FM buildings and several industry partners and of course our academic team is as leaders. So we include four work packages. The first one is we develop four lay uh, five, uh, three layers digital twin models. The first one is the uh, city level. We use the UA way to create the geometry model for the uh, West Cambridge site. The second one is the building information model, and the third one is we create several detailed spaces, uh, such as we use the laser scanners to scan the plant roof. And uh, the second one is over 50 sensors installed in FM buildings, including hu uh, humidity, temperature, motion uh, detectors. And more than uh, 200 texts is attached in the, of the assets in FM. And uh, uh, we can communicate with the facility managers through the QR code. And all the data resources is integrated through the cloud-based uh, platform. We use web, uh, Amazon websites. Two, two networks transmissions have been created. The first one is for connected different sensors, and the second one is to connect a different QR code to uh, get the information feedbacks from the users. And uh, we use the international data standards, IFC, as a uh, centralized data model and uh, talk with several uh, data resources in a distributed way. That's ma that means all the data resources have been saved in their original spaces and uh, uh, just response the request of the, such as queries. So um, we uh, connected several data resources, including real-time sensors and also the BMS data spaces. And we have two uh, digital twin platform. The first one is created by our research, uh, research team. The second one is created, uh, cooperate with Bentley systems, which is for the commercial purpose. And uh, all these two platform could support for several applications, such as uh, monitoring the performance and uh, abnormal detection, and also implemented with AI technologies. So in the building level, it could be monitoring that these conditions and also highlight failure assets. In the city level, it could be monitoring the electricity uh, consumptions, water consumptions. Uh, so in the future, uh, actually this project is uh, not end now, it's, it's, it will go through several years. So we will go to the city levels and some digital things. Uh, thanks a lot.